Hello from Tritex 2025. I'm here together with Ade Omotosho, CEO at Cyber Virtual. Hello, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Akim. How are you doing? Good, good. And you? I'm very well. Tritex 2025, what are you showcasing this year here? Oh, uh, Tritex, we're showcasing what we've been building uh, over the past few months, what we've presented to the world, an AI-driven cybersecurity platform to help businesses with their cybersecurity posture, manage it from end to end, and also focus on it from a lifestyle point of view, if you will say. Okay. So you just mentioned AI. We hear it everywhere since the last two years, and accelerating very fast. So how does AI, especially in your case, helps you to deliver the service you promise? Also, as we all know, AI is about automation and efficiency. So it helps us to deliver that very simply and smoothly. So a lot of enterprises and businesses find cybersecurity as something very manual, complex, and we're using AI to simplify it, but to also make it easier and faster for them to get the results of efficiency in their operations, especially around protection. Okay, so the latest statistics showing or predicting that we connect over 1.2 billion people in Africa with mobile devices and mobile connections. So how do you see the importance of having a proper cybersecurity strategy in place for whatever services come to cater this huge amount of potential? All right, so, so it's very important because as you know, um, the market is rapidly digitizing across Africa. Uh, and once you digitize, you need to start thinking of everything I digitize, what do I do with it? How do I protect it? So I use the example of protect your treasure. So if we go back to the old days where everything was physical, if you have treasure, you put it in your house, you probably put a padlock uh, around it or a vault somewhere, then you start looking at how do I protect that vault. So you add other things, you have a security door, you have security cameras, you have a security guard. In the digital space, you have to replicate that. You have something you treasure, either customers' data, uh, transactions, your processes, IP, how do you protect that? What we are saying is, and what we are doing, is we've built a platform, a product, with using AI to take that transition from physical to digital, but also ensure that you do it regularly, it's not one-off, or it's not until something happens like a breach. So when we look at Africa, we are in the middle of a huge digital transformation process. We see it through private sector, enterprises, and public sector. So how important is cybersecurity for them? What would you suggest and what can you offer? Okay, cybersecurity is very important for, for these three sets of people, so enterprises, governments, and small businesses, as the case may be. For government, what would government needs to do is the regulatory standpoint, put in place the framework for things to happen properly. Uh, how do you do business? How do you do it in a proper way? What regulations do you need to go by? Or what things do you need to abide by? from a cybersecurity point of view and the governance point of view. But from the enterprise side, how do they now do that easily? What we have built and what we are helping people to do using our platform is to, how do I take those regulations? How do I implement it? But also how do I ensure that my operations is aligned at every stage of my life cycle, annually, daily, from a cybersecurity point of view so that they can focus on their core business and also government can we rest assured that these regulations, there's that guideline that I've given enterprises to follow, but there are also tools and technology like ours to ensure that whatever has been um, offered or promulgated by government, enterprises can meet it very simply, but also doing it to ensure that, oh, their businesses are safe, they can go on doing their businesses, and that's where we come in with our solution. Mm -hmm. So what makes your solution so special, so unique? So one of the things that makes our solution special and unique is, apart from the fact of AI being technology, which is uh, a leveler for everybody, what we've done is we've taken a lot of the global standards and aligned them very interestingly with our IT, um, with AI, IT, AI, to ensure that every local regulation in Africa goes through it. So for instance, there's the Nigerian regulation, there's the Ghanaian regulation, there's Kenyan regulation. We've taken all these local regulations from a cybersecurity privacy standpoint, mapped them all together with all global standards from that sector, cybersecurity privacy and risk, and ensure that once you come onto our platform, if you are in Ghana, for instance, I sign up to the Ghana privacy standard, 
it automatically matches up to any privacy standard. If I'm in Kenya, I need to do a information security management system based on Kenya's regulation. If I sign up to a platform, once I log on and use it, it maps to any other global standard you have. So it's use it once and you know that you are internationally driven from the cybersecurity So just a pan-African approach? Yes. Yes. Yeah. So we've taken it and say, how do we ensure that whatever we are doing as Africans building a solution for Africa, we've used the approach of think global, think local, but act global. So the think local is think about your local regulations. How do you adapt to that, but also ensure you align with the global ones. Hence the think local, act global from a regulatory and cybersecurity system standpoint. And for our solution and platform as well. Based on your experience, what are the biggest threats at the moment? Um, the, the threats are quite numerous, to, to be honest. Um, aside the technical ones, which is there's always somebody trying to steal something of value to you, which is why data and whatever you are processing becomes sensitive and interesting. But also the threats are also non-technical. So these days we have people living uh, skill, talent drain, lack of standards, lack of enforcement of standards. Some countries don't even have the standards out uh, or they don't have specific standards or frameworks tailored to them. So those are threats and that's what we're trying to also give a framework and a platform to say, yeah, if we've done this for certain countries, you can adapt from any country. So I'll give an instance. Our platform allows you to select each of those requirements from each country's regulation or any global regulation and use it to build your own as you desire, tailored to you, using what we put together from across Africa and across the globe in terms of standards. So you offer, let's say, endless flexibility? Yes. So one of the things we've noticed and which has been the challenge is most solutions tend to try and pigeonhole you into one area. We look at where you are, give you your frameworks for your local requirement, but also ensure that globally you are fine. And if you want to mix and match of everything you can do it so that flexibility is there is to do local to do global or a mix and match or customize your own so it's not only that you offer a platform it's also a kind of a consultancy for your clients um we, we don't call it consultancy so we built that consultancy into the platform so it's more of product guidance okay. so we come we guide you as to oh you are in kenya for instance um you have a kenyan privacy standard but you want to start thinking of a global standard. So we guide you how to use the platform to go through your Kenyan standard, but because the platform is mapped to all global standards, we can guide you and you can see it through the platform. You actually don't need anybody, but what we do is, because we are also in a business where it's B2B, people want to speak to somebody, we have the team to support you, to guide you through the process. And once you're used to it, you're pretty much self-sufficient. Okay, very interesting, very insightful. Thank Thanks for your time. Thank you very much. There was Tech Africa News from Tritex 2025. You can find more on techafricanews.com.